it's Kim here. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. I'm gonna be 100% real with you guys. I have facial hair. So I'm gonna be talking about something that a lot of women may be struggling with and we usually try to keep it quiet or keep it on a hush hush. I'm gonna talk to you guys about my struggle. Um, it's kind of been almost a decade um, long struggle for me with facial hair. So let's talk about the hair. You may not see it too well in this video, but you'll see the scarring. So I have the hair that grows all the way down on my jawline all the way to my chin here. And I also have facial hair that grows on my neck, which I'll talk about why I have all these escalations and bumps. Um, I know that I'm not the only woman in the world struggling with facial hair. Um, I do not have PCOS, which is polycystic ovary syndrome, um, although I know women who are diagnosed with PCOS have had facial hair issues. Um, when I, once I hit 19, my hormones went out of whack, and I took a hormone test two years ago to kind of figure out what the heck's wrong with me, because um, I was getting frustrated. I gained massive weight. Um, I started having more facial hair. Um, I found out that I have high androgen levels, which are male hormones. Just know that whether you're female or male, we all have testosterone, which is a male hormone, androgen, progesterone, and estrogen, just at different levels with different sexes. Um, so I tried to figure out what can I do to kind of put my hormones back in balance. There's a lot of hormonal therapies and a lot of things that work and don't work um, and I'm still trying to figure it out. But over the years I try to find ways to remove my facial hair. Because I'm a black woman and um, I do have dark hair, most of the facial hair that I that I was experiencing were dark and noticeable. So I wanted to get rid of them. So there are many things that you can do. Some people tweeze. Some people shave, some people wax, and some people do laser hair treatment or electrolysis. So I've kind of done most of those, and I'll kind of give you my experience of each. Are you shaving your face? You need to stop right now. Try to avoid that as much as you can because you're going to exasperate the problem. One thing I would say is that when I shave my face, my hair grows darker and thicker. Also, razors can kind of contribute to um, razor bumps. And like I said before, it can damage the skin. Please stop tweezing. Tweezing can cause ingrown hairs, which contribute to scarring and dark spots on your face. Do not tweeze because you're irritating your skin. I do want to talk about other things that you should do to kind of help fight back in the hair. Exfoliate every day. Um, so exfoliating your skin kind of helps as well. So I try to exfoliate every other day, um, like a deep exfoliant, a scrub. Um, you should do, use daily scrubs if you can find one that's gentle. I have very sensitive skin, so I have to be careful with that. Um, and make sure that you use a mask every other day as well to kind of keep your skin like smooth and make it easier for the hair to come out. You don't want anything to get stuck under the skin and cause ingrown hairs or and stuff. So exfoliate as much as you can in a safe way for your skin type. Find safer removal options. Um, Waxing's not bad um, if you can afford it every X amount of times, do it. But it's better to fix something, heal something long run than to maintain it like that. Um, I I definitely would recommend that you do either laser hair remover removal or electrolysis. Um, I recommend electrolysis better because it has a better lasting result and when I was doing it my hair was growing out more and more lighter so you couldn't even see it and then my hair was literally it's completely stopped growing in some parts altogether but then after I stopped my electrolysis treatments because I stopped working I started um, plucking and doing razor and waxes and my hair came back even worse so Electrolysis, I feel as though is the best. I haven't tried laser hair, but if you're not sure of the difference between the two, cost is different. Electrolysis is more expensive. Hey, it's Kim here. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. So I have a new look. 
in a new format to make navigating what you need easier. I also just posted a video um, giving some commentary on the issue of race and what the Olympics means and kind of does to people of color in the United States. So click this video on the left if you want to hear more about that. And if you're going through a healthy eating journey like I am, um, I posted a great recipe for fresh lettuce tacos. Click on this video right here on your right if you'd like to do that. It's super easy. So the new Kim All Natural YouTube channel is going to be giving you guys more of what you need to have a healthier journey to a healthier view. So be sure to like, subscribe, and comment for more videos.